Welcome to this channel. In this video, we will learn how to create drop-down list in ASP.NET MVC5 application using SQL Server database. First, we have to create new project. Here, select web under Visual C Sharp, then select ASP.NET web application, then name your application here. Our application name is MVC drop-down list. Then select the location where you want to save this application. Then click on OK. You select empty, then click on MVC checkbox, then click OK. Here we have created MVC drop down list application successfully. Then we have to create database for this application. Uh, for that, I will use Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. Um, here I already I created a database with the name of MVC drop down DB. Uh, inside the database, I have two table. In product table, I have product ID and product name columns. Only two columns. Here, product ID is the primary key for this table. In stock table, I have three columns, stock ID, product ID, and quantity. Here, stock ID is a primary key for this table. Uh, in product table, um, I entered some test data with product ID and a product name. So totally I have three records in product uh, table. In stock table, I don't have any record. Okay, now back to Visual Studio here. I'm going to create controller. So right click on controllers folder, then click on add, then click on controller here. Here, select MVC5 controller empty, then click add. Here, name your controller. So our controller name will be stock controller. It will create new controller. Um, see here, here we have the uh, default uh, index action method, which is of the type get method. Yeah, I want to change this uh, action method name, add or edit with parameter in id equal to zero. Okay. Now, um, let's create adu.net entity data model for database. So right click on models folder, then click on add, then new item. You select data from this left panel, then click adu.net entity data model then our model name will be TB model. Then click this add button here. Select E of designer from database. Then click on new connection here. here provide the server name for me it's dot. Then click on database MVC dropdown DB. Then click on OK. Here I want to change this name DB models. Okay. Um, adu.net entity model will create the class with this name we will use an object of this class to interact with database so click on next here select entity framework 6.x then click next here we have to choose our database objects so expand this tables then dbo then select the product and stock table then click on finish here This is the diagrammatic representation of uh, entity data model tables. Okay, now back to models folder. Inside we have newly created DB model class. Um, inside that we have auto generated product and a stock class. In stock class, I am going to add new property here. Public, it's of the type list uh, product your products then get set this is not in our table on uh, database table so here we will use not mapped attribute then add namespace for this component model dot data annotations dot schema okay now go back to stock controller here 
let's create view for this add or edit action method so right click here then click add view here keep um, view name as it is then uncheck this use your layout page then click on add so uh, it will create uh, the view here first we have to declare our model so at model equal mvc drop down this is our project name then models folder inside the models folder we have two models stock and product here we will use stock so here title add or edit so i want to change this to add stock then inside this body tag we will design this view using uh, bootstrap so i remove this view tag instead i will use table so before that i will enclose this form with using as a resource html dot begin form okay inside we will use table inside the table first row will be in, in first row we have empty column in second column we have title add stock here i will use style attribute inside style text decoration will be underline okay second row um second row will be in second row first column here i will display the product id for that i will use html dot display name for helper class your model equal model dot product id okay in second column so here i will use drop down list for helper class so it is used to implement drop down list in mvc so drop down list for so your model set model dot product id then parameter new select list inside first parameter will be model dot product then sec next parameter will be value so it's product id then text will be in drop down it will display the uh, product name last parameter will be um, drop down list it's a default text for drop down list so it will be displayed when no item is selected so here it will be select Okay, that's it now when we will create one more row tr inside tr so i so here one error okay uh, missing okay copy this line and pasting your your display name for quantity okay then again one more td element here we will use editor for model such that model dot quantity okay and last row will be inside last row column empty and second column here we need mm, submit button so I, for that i will use input it's of the type submit sorry and the value will be submit okay in here in begin form um, we can pass the parameter first parameter will be action name add or edit and then second parameter will be controller name it's stock then third parameter will be form method it's of the type post method okay now save this and go back to stock controller 
here we have add our edit method so here so copy this namespace here using paste the namespace first we'll create object of stock model new stock then I will use using as a resource db models object db equal to new db models here yeah. um, we are going to populate product list so stock dot product equal to db dot product um, dot to list so here yeah, db dot products dot to list here yeah, it's of the type product class okay finally we will pass the updated model into our view so copy this object name and pasting your okay you can run this application with debug mode but here uh, i am run this uh, application without debug mode by pressing ctrl plus f5 it will be faster than um, debug mode yeah navigate to stock add or edit action method now we have our form here this is our product drop down um, inside this we have three products this is from products table and the quantity text box this is in uh, up down numeric text box okay, then we have submit button here see here it's displaying as product id so i want to display this as product so go to stock class here here so i will add this display name attribute here product okay now add namespace for this okay save this and build the solution and go back to browser here reload the page here this name is changed to product okay here in stock controller here we have create a drop down list using this products um, property okay it's a list of products instead of um, list we can use i enumerable collection of class product okay so we have created drop down list from dynamic source uh, like sql server database so just command this line so i am going to um create drop down list from out coded value for that we will do like this stock dot products equal new list of product so, so that can be out coded like this new product Here product ID equal to one, then product name equal to mobile, then copy this line and paste in below that. You have change this name as computer, then product ID will be two. Okay, now save this and build the solution and reload the page here yeah. um, we have the hard coded value in this drop down okay now in stock controller here yeah. let me back to the uh, way of dynamic way of creating drop down list so uncomment this line and command this line okay here yeah. When I click this submit button, the data will be sent to add or edit post action method. 
okay here we have um, add or edit action method which is actually a http get method so we need to create one more add or edit action method so which is of the type http post okay for that i will create public action result so add or edit return view it's of the type http post okay it's of the type http post okay here we have the parameter stock model object name stock okay Yeah, see here, uh, product ID of this selected product and uh, um, quantity of this text box will be posted to this um, add or edit action method. Using this action method, um, we can save product ID and quantity in stock table. Okay, but in this tutorial, we are not implementing save or insert operation okay um, let me put breakpoint here and going to run this application with debug mode and then navigate to stock add or edit index action method let's press enter okay here um, fill the form with test data so quantity will be 30 then click this submit button so see here, it hit the breakpoints here. So check the stock object here. So here we have the product ID and quantity. Okay, um, we can save this product ID and quantity in stock table using Dapper or Entity Framework or ADO.NET method. Okay, um, go to SQL Server Management Studio here in stock table. So I am going to add one some text data so stock id will be one product id will be one and a quantity 50 okay save this uh, record by pressing enter okay now back to um, visual studio here yeah, stop the execution here yeah. if id not equal to zero your yeah, stock equal db dot stocks dot var here x such that x dot stock id equal id okay then first or default okay now um, remove this breakpoint here save this and build the solution Now reload the page. Can come continue. Here yeah. to show the existing stock details in URL, we can pass the ID stock ID as one. Let's press enter. Okay, here we have the product and the quantity. This is from your stock table. Here we have the product ID. You can check the product ID in product table. So for product ID, product name is pen. Okay. In stock table quantity 50 so it's displaying product name and quantity here okay and uh, this will be used to update the stock record in stock table okay guys in this video we have discussed how to create drop down list in ASP.NET MVC 5 application okay you can download the project source code link given below uh, in video description um, see you there in next video thanks for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe this channel please like and share this video to others okay thank you